If I was your boyfriend, I'd never let you go I could take you places you ain't never been before Baby, take a chance so you'll never ever know I got money in my hands that I really like to bet Swipe, swipe, swipe on you Chillin' by the fire while we eatin' fondue I don't know about me, but I know about you so I heard it for you know I love you if I'm playing the Bieber for your spiels. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Oh, that was terrible. At any rate, here we go. We're going to do Project 1, creating, formatting, and editing a flyer with pictures. And here we go. Um, let's start off with this. In your personal opinion, what is the purpose of a flyer? And in your opinion, what are the three characteristics that would make a flyer effective? It's in red. You must write it down. Go. All right, here's the objectives, enter text, check spelling, format paragraphs. Here's the things that you need to be able to do. Format text, undo and redo commands, change. If you can do all these things, I was successful. Insert digital pictures, format pictures. These are the things we want to do, okay? All right, so here is what our final thing is going to look like, okay? We're going to make this particular flyer, and then later on we're going to make our own f super fun flyer. Let me see if, oh, let's keep going. All right, uh, let's take a look at the grade scale for the flyer. All right, let's see if I can find this thing. All right, let's see if I can find the grade scale. Here it is. All right, no, that's not it. I'll find it. There it is. All right, here's the grade scale. I should have ha handed this out, but at any rate, here is the thing. Here are the things that we're gonna do by the time this thing is done. Let's go view, and we're gonna go to one page, so we can see it on one page. All right, so here's the things that we're gonna do. Here's what it's gonna look like. Here's the uh, expectations. All right, okay. So hopefully I handed that thing out to you. And here it is again. Here's what it's going to look like as well. Okay. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. Okay. Red tech, all, as always, you know this. Okay. Write this down. What is Word? This isn't red. you got to write it down. Word, word processing application that allows you. It may, allows you to make flyers and letters and MLA reports. It's kind of the industry standard word processing document uh, application okay allows you to do that sort of thing all right when you're making flyer what are the three things that you are trying to accomplish basically if there's a fly if you're making a flyer you want to get people to do something so for example if you have a car for sale you want them to buy the car okay if you have a lost dog that you have found you want them to see it and come and get the lost dog so but before, to do that you need to catch people's attention uh, you need to effectively communicate. If there's too many words on there, they're not going to look at it. Uh, you need to change the reader's minds. Before, they were ready to go to Walmart to shop. It was like, hey, man, I'm not going to go to Walmart now. I'm going to go buy this car or go get my dog. Okay? So here's what you want to do. Uh, what are the three guidelines? Uh, you want to draw attention with the graphics. The graphics should make people look at it. They should. The text should make people want to read it. Um, list information concisely, not too wordy, short and sweet. Uh, use color to get people's attention. Uh, and make things stand out. Okay, those are the things that we want to do. All right, let's keep looking. All right, so number one, open Word, uh, and let's let's do that first. Okay, so here's how you open Word. You go up, go here, and you type in Microsoft Word. Okay, and there it is. You double click on it, open it, or if it's on the desktop, you click on the desktop. All right, so we'll we'll open Word. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna have a blank document to start off with right okay so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're go I don't know what you're gonna do first of all let's go home okay and see this thing right here we're gonna turn on the non printing characters okay that's good we wanna see these things they're kind of annoying but they're gonna help us throughout this okay see this right here normal uh, that it makes the text and paragraphs kinda of normal how we want them alright this is about how it should look like this let's go back to our PowerPoint and and see what we've got Okay, so, oh, you know what? We got to answer some questions. What is the document window? What is the ribbon? Oh my goodness, we got all these things to do. All right, let's take a look at this. All right, question number one: What is the document window? This right here is a document window. It's where you type. Right now, we have. If you look right there, this thing, this thing right here is called the status bar. It basically tells you what page you're on. It, it kind of tells you what's going on with the document. That's the status bar. Okay, but if you click right here. It's the one page view. We could go to full, uh, different views. Okay. But uh, basically, the view we want to be in is this one right here print layout. It basically shows us how it's going to look when it prints. Okay. Uh, so, okay. So, to answer the question, what is the document window? This is the document window. What is the ribbon? This thing right here 
is the ribbon. Okay, so this thing right here is basically where all your commands are at. So it's where you find all the commands and stuff. This whole big thing is called the ribbon. Okay, what is a dialog box launcher? All right, let's say, for example, you're doing a personal business letter in block format with open punctuation and you need to do something. So let's go to page layout. Let's say we're going to do the margins. Well, what you can do is you can click on this thing and it opens up this dialog box. Why is this thing called a dialog box? Because it's asking you a question and saying, hey, how big do you want the margins? And you say, oh, I'm doing a business letter. I want it two tab, one tab, one. Oops. One tab, one. But we're not doing that, so we're going to hit cancel. But anyway, it's asking a question. Hey, how big do you want the margins? And you answer it, and you click OK. OK. So this is called a dialog box. All right? This guy right here is called the dialog box launcher. OK? All right, what is the status bar? We already talked about it. It's this bar down here that tells us, uh, this bar down here that tells us where we're at in the document, what page. It gives us some things that we can change about the look and also look we can increase the size boom boom make it bigger or we can make it smaller and we decided we're gonna go to view to one page over here okay uh, and what are the scroll bars this thing right over here is a scroll bar for us right now we only have one page so we can't scroll around too much but if we had three pages we could use this thing we could click on this arrow click 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 go down we could go right here and click up pop, pop, pop. okay got it all right all right so now you can answer these questions again. What is the document window? What is the ribbon? What is the dialog box launcher? Okay, answer those on your paper. I just answered those for you. Okay. Uh, okay, so here's what we do. Go to home. Go home, print view. Go to the home tab. Choose normal style. Click show, hide, save your... Oh, we need to do this. All right. And enter all the text. All right, here's what we got to do. Okay, so you have to go to the... So you go to the print layout view. We already did that. Click. Okay, go to the home tab. Click choose the normal style did it click and we want to turn these on click okay so leave those on and all right now we need to save it so you need to go file and we're going to go save as okay and and by the by the way this is like a dialog box as well it's a save as dialog box that we got to tell it where we're going to save it and what we're going to save it as so we're going to go to you're going to go to my computer I'm going to go to my documents kind of thing, but it's about the same. So I'm going to go to my folder with my name on it. I'm going to go to tech. I'm going to go to word. And I'm going to go to project one. And I'm going to go to, I don't know why I have project one twice. You don't do that. But at any rate, save it as found dog flyer. Okay. Not formatted text, but we're going to go to found dog flyer. Okay. Found dog flyer and you're going to save it click okay we got to save okay so now you need to enter all the text and here is the text that you should enter let's find the text that you should enter right here enter all this text okay so type in found dog make sure you have this extra paragraph mark Okay, do the, see that how it's spelled wrong? Please spell it wrong because we're going to fix that later. Okay, type in this text. Ready to go. Okay, so we did all this. We entered the text, and now it should look like this. And now we're going to right click the flagged word to display the shortcut menu. And we're going to fix our spelling mistake. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Word, we're going to go to this thing over here. All right. Okay, so we're going to right click on this and we're going to go to the spelling and say, oh no, we say, oh, there it is right there. It gives us a list. There it is. It should have been patches and we fix it and we're happy. All right, now let's go back to our PowerPoint. And all right, let's keep going. Looking what we're going to do. Okay, Word Wrap allows you to type a word in a paragraph. Can you that? Okay, that's easy. Write that down. That's in red. So let's go back to our let's go back to Word here. And basically all Word Wrap is saying is it's obvious, but we need to know it. Basically what it's saying is if you're typing in stuff and you get to the end of the line, automatically laps it wraps around. You don't have to hit you don't have to hit enter, which is nice. Okay, so basically you make sure you use the word wrap. Okay. Alright. And let's keep going. All right, remember, we were trying to catch people's attention, effectively communicate, have have the people change their minds, and take an action, draw attention. These are all the things we're trying to do. So we're going to format the text as shown in the following slide. Okay, so we're going to format the text like this, okay? And, uh, yeah, we're going to make our text look like this. So here's what we do. 
let me show you how to do that. So we're going to go to... Okay. So, follow me. Do this with me. Okay. So you're going to click on... This is kind of small. Let's make this a little bit bigger. What do you think? We'll click on this on our status bar. Okay. So we d click on found dog. So you can click and drag. The easiest way is to move your little mouse over here until it turns into an or uh, uh, arrow and click. Okay. So we need to change... The headline found dog is an aerial rounded empty bold. Okay, so we're going to go home and we're going to go to this thing and we're going to choose if we can find it. Air, there it is. Yours is probably down lower, but aerial rounded empty bold. Okay, uh, 72 point font. Okay, centered. We need it centered. Click. Got it. Centered. Okay. Uh, uppercase. So if we want it uppercase, we're going to go to this guy right here and we say, I want it all uppercase and shaded orange okay so let's go to the, get, let's give it the text effect first so we're going to go here and we're going to say oh i love i loves me this text effect right there and then we're going to shade it so we're going to say which one is the shading it's probably i'm not sure oh here it is so we're going to go to that there's a shading of it and we're going to say oh i love now that oh that's a good color right there. Let's do that. Okay, so we get did that. All right, so now this all wants to be changed to 22 point font. So we click this, click and drag. We select all these paragraphs. And we're going to change these to 22 point font. Boom. Okay, and oh we want these bottom ones bulleted. So we're going to select these, click, and drag down. Okay, and they're going to be bulleted. So we click on this, click. Those are bulleted. Okay, so this guy, so we double click on this word, or you can just click in it, it doesn't matter. So this needs to be blue in color, so we're going to change the font color to some beautiful blue color, and then we're going to italicize it. Click, okay, and then this, we're going to, uh, oh, this wasn't supposed to be bulleted. Boo for me. Okay, get rid of that bullet. All right, this is supposed to be centered. Okay, this is supposed to be 28 point font. Click. This is supposed to be bold which means it's big and thick. Uh, we need to change it to purple. Beautiful purple color. And, oh, I was supposed to use the, oh, boo for me. I was supposed to use the mini toolbar to do all this. All right, watch this. See this little thing right there? This little mini toolbar popped up. So we can do it. We could, I could have done all that right there. Change the font, change it to bold. Okay, and I can change the color. I'm supposed to do it all. This is called the mini toolbar. Basically, if you select text, it appears kind of clear. You can barely see it, and there it is, and you can use it. It's kind of nice. Okay, did we make sure, did we make sure it's centered? Yeah, we did. Okay, all right. Now this it, we got, we want people to really we re want really pe people to remember what, the reason we're doing this. By the way, is it's supposed to accomplish all these goals? We want people this font up here. People want we want people to see it. Hey, they found a dog. They want it concise, so not a lot of words, but nice bullet points that make the words easy to see. And then color and things will set certain things off. So we want to underline the phone number because we want them to see the phone number call us and get this dog off our hands okay you guys got that okay good okay let's go back to the PowerPoint okay so now select the, the text to for oh we already did that okay this is basically just showing you again how to use the mini toolbar make sure you know what the mini toolbar is all right change the theme colors click the change styles home tab okay let's do this let's all do this together okay all right so what we're gonna do is okay so we look at this and the colors are fine but word provides some nice uh, some nice uh, automatic color features so they put together colors that are pleasing together so what we're gonna do is we make sure we're on the home tab we go over this thing here that says change styles and we want to change the colors and we're, we're gonna choose the go back you okay so we're gonna choose the aspect all these colors look nice together and notice what happens when I choose it it adjusts all my colors for me so it changes this to a different color it changes this to a different color okay so go ahead and do that choose that aspect and let's go back to our PowerPoint Okay, let's see what's next. Uh, colors and document. See, this is what we just did. We changed the color, the theme colors. Okay, good. All right, now you need to know, learn how to navigate through a document. You need to learn, learn know how to do it using uh, the keyboard and using the mouse. So please pause and try all these things. Okay, but basically, I'll give you pause, try these things. 
but I'll give you a little preview here. Okay, so basically what you can do is if you click here, different things happen. If I use the keyboard, the arrow key takes me up. I have a page up button, takes me to the top. I have a page down key on the keyboard, takes me all the way to the bottom. So I can navigate through it. The other thing I can do is I have the scroll box on the scroll bar, and I can use this as well as the arrows here and here. Okay? All right, so make sure you can do all the stuff on the slideshow. Uh, that we just said. So make sure you can do all this. I'm going to ask you on the on the uh, quiz. All right, undoing and redoing an action. You got to know how to do this. Okay, so check this out. Let's say I click in here and I type in is. It's like ah, oh, why did I do that? I can undo that. And it's like you know what? I really like that. I can. I'm going to get that back. I can redo it. Okay, so undo and redo are right there. Okay, make sure you know how to do that for the spiel or the, not the spiel, the quiz. Okay, got that. All right, uh, here's the quiz. Now. If you want to write these down, you can, but you don't have to, but you do have to be able to show me how to do all those things, okay? This is the quiz day one. I'm going to call you up, and I'm going to ask you to do all these things. Ready? Learn.